Okay. Now, let me explain something. Uh, last week, I had to demilitarize the DSP board. I found out that one of the mods was one of those people who makes YouTube videos about Dark Side Phil runs ads on them, has cash app in the, 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 the thing. And is actually like prominent on Twitter and like the DSP hate sphere. And I find this to be a conflict of interest. And I found that the way DSP people reacted to my presence on the board, every time I show up there, there's like outrage. There's people angry and I'm sick of it. So I demodded all the mods. I conquered, I uh, in instilled martial law. And now I am directly moderating the DSP board myself. And there's still like 10 people banned. Uh, I actually, I put in a little test. I banned like a, a dozen people just for being dickheads. Cause I'm fucking sick of it. And I said, if you want to be unbanned, I will unban you. However, you have homework to be unbanned. Very small homework, very, very minor homework. I said, all you got to do is send me your username by email and send me a post from the Kiwi farms. Um, that is funny. That is not from the DSP board. So just go out to the site and show me one post from the, for, it, not featured either. So don't go to like the featured thread and pick a link and send that. Find a thread, find something funny and send it to me. And this was my way of trying to encourage people to branch out to the forum. And a couple of people opt to do this. The others are mad and are on Twitter and they're going to stay mad and that's okay. I would rather them stay mad and be off site than be on site and, and mad so that works out. And the other people, they got to go out and explore the forum. I consider this an effective way of weeding out chaff from wheat. Or weeding out the wheat from the chaff is how that goes. Uh, so now I'm, I'm thinking about mods. The board's really calm now. Uh, everyone seems to be getting back into place. And as I, I, have, I have encouraged them to go ahead and to uh, explore the rest of the site to post things directly to the community happenings board when uh, DSP does something funny to try and encourage new people to get an interest so that there's more exchange. Cause that board is like completely segregated from the rest of the site. And it doesn't make sense, you know, why, why they're so into DSP, but they're not into anything, anything else. It's like, do you not like branch out, explore things. Um, there's more, there's more on the forum than just DSP. It, like it's weird they're not even into wings of redemption or anything or they don't talk about keemstar or other things that they should like have a natural in interest into just because of the proximity it's, it's literally just dsp so i've tried to uh, discourage that and encourage more integration and so upholding my end of the deal i have decided to watch dsp content so that i can become more familiar with what's going on with him uh his latest happening is this the trolls always come out for this crap, and they did a really good job. Well, that was I, I, I pulled this up because I, uh, I wanted to clip this and said, this is what happened when I tried to talk to the DSP people. The trolls always come out for this crap, and they did a really good job. As I've been informed many, many times, I am actually exactly like DSP. I have transformed into DSP. I am under pignosis, is what they call it. When I, uh, if I don't want DSP completely banned and demonetized off YouTube and forced to get a job collecting garbage on the side of the street, I am, I am pignatized and I am unable to think for myself and I am simping for him. Uh, so the trolls have come out in fashion. By the way, Cat is really fat now. That was the big thing. She showed up on stream for the first time in, in years, I want to say, and she's fat. Uh, so that was a big deal. People were having fun with that. However, uh, someone sent me this video. This is from yesterday. And I found this funny. So I'm going to play it. Um, he has encountered, he has been trolled by an Argentinian. Uh, now, I've heard conflicting information about this, but it does appear to be a thing still. Uh, if you don't know, the Argentine peso is so bad that the purchasing parity of it is like skewered on YouTube and you can buy channel memberships that are usually like $5 for less than a penny. If you're using an Argentine proxy. Now I've heard that you can't use a proxy anymore. If you try to buy things with the Argentine peso, you have to actually submit identification to prove that you are a resident of uh, Argentina. Um, it, however, if that is true, DSP is getting fucked and fucked with by guys who are actually from Argentina. Because what this guy did is he found out that because memberships, channel memberships cost a penny each, he can go out and buy 500 memberships for, you know, $2. And that's all 
that's all that DSP will get. Meanwhile, the entirety of his live viewing audience will be gifted subs so that they have no reason to buy subs from DSP at full price anymore. So that's what he did. Um, and it really, really pissed DSP off. And I have a couple timestamps. Um, the main thing about DSP that's hard to clip is that this is a 27 minute long video. And you might think that this is like a montage of all the different times that DSP has talked about the channel, channel membership things. No. The way that DSP streams is that he sits down an hour, like the first hour of any stream, and he just rants about his business and, and the financial hardships he has. And this is the this is like the fun stuff that the DSP A logs like really enjoy. Is I don't even know how to explain it. It would be kind of like every stream DSP considers his entire viewing audience to be like board members to the DSP King of Hate Enterprises. And he's doing like a financial report to them and being like, hey, guys, I want to say that viewership quality is really high right now. Love to see the engagement. Um, I wish I could get a couple more memberships. We're meeting our goals. You know, I got those taxes to pay. It's like he's doing a, a, a report each stream about the ongoing financial crisis of his of his enterprise. And everyone is invited to participate as if they're like employees or members of, of this community of direct direct beneficiaries of the uh, company that he runs um so he goes for 30 minutes and the way he explains things is extremely tedious he goes off on tangents and he can like what i just explained guy from Ar argentina buying memberships costing him money like that sentence 30 minute video because he just can't explain it correctly in in uh any kind of brevity or um, being succinct at all now let's skip the Snort, this guy only has a 12 second intro, but most people, um, most DSP clippers, like you have to skip through like an hour of like, like the first minute is just dedicated, like bumper, intro bumpers. That's really bizarre. Anyway, let's start with this. So I think I've covered everything at this point. So you guys know the deal. I'm someone who makes a living out of stream contributions, not off of sponsorships, partnerships and the like. I don't have any paid promotions, no product codes to enter in to get a discount and give me a kickback. It's all about me making content and you guys liking it so much that you support it. Please consider supporting the stream today. Ways that you can support, becoming a member, gifting memberships, super chats or super stickers, or tips. Currently, I'd like to hit $50 of tips on this stream. That's always my goal uh, when I do a, a, any kind of a stream on YouTube. And sometimes we hit it and sometimes we don't. It's great what we do. It helps a lot. Um... It'd be great if we can get around maybe like anywhere from eight to ten members today. Uh, would help boost you know the channel a bit. Okay. Speaking of that, I think it's time to now get to the subject at hand that everyone wants to know about. Right? Let's do it. Let's just get, let's talk about it because finally I have my definitive answer of what's been going on this last week and a half with these member bombs. See what I mean about how it sounds like a boardroom meeting? It's like he walks in and is like, I'd like to thank everyone for being here. We have coffee and donuts. Remember that we're expecting quarterly reports from these departments. You know, I thank everybody for their timely emails. It's like, it's like, and this is how he starts to stream every day. It's just like, hello, everybody. Thanks for being here. Be sure to give me some money. Um, now he'll get into the, the membership bomb thing. As you can see, he has a thousand members on the bottom five. That's a lot of money. That's like, I think he says $4 is his membership fee. So that's like $4,000 a month for, for my boy, Phil. All right. So let's review what I'm talking about. So you get the full story now in one section. I'm sure OP Boone will timestamp this video with AI. And this will be the start of the story of the member bomb nonsense that's been going on. Cause I finally got all the answers. Why do I have all the answers? Because people can't keep their mouths shut. Seriously. Most of the time, when these kind of things happen, if people just kept their mouths shut, no one would ever figure them out. But people can't help it. They just got to brag. They got to go, you know, stroke their e-penis on forums somewhere. You know, they, they, they big assy code coming out of their crotch and stuff. They can't resist. And so because of that, all this stuff finally comes to light. And now, the reason I'm telling this story is twofold. Number one, I... <laughs> See what I mean? Like, story... I got 500 subscriptions. They were in Argentine peso. They're worth less than a dollar for all 500. Therefore, I am going to make adjustments to my membership counters to reflect my actual income. 
That's the story. One sentence. But DSP can't do that. He has to make sure that everything is by the board, that the 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 minutes of the, the meeting are covered, that this lasts 30 minutes so he doesn't have to play five hours of video games. He can just do four hours or whatever. Um, and then he also makes sure to hit, hit the dab on the trolls for uh, revealing their hand, showing him what he's up to. Now I will skip ahead a little bit. We're not going to watch 30 minutes of Dark Side Phil, I promise. 400 gifted memberships, to which I'm like, now I'm skeptical. I'm like, how could I have gotten 400 memberships but no real increase in income those two days? It doesn't seem to make sense, right? So what tipped him off was not that somebody is donating thousands of dollars of actually yeah thousands of dollars it's like two thousand dollars for 500 subs at four dollars each so it's like it's not that someone's giving him thousands of dollars out of the blue some guy he's never seen before it's that it's not adding up in his revenue that's where he's like huh that's not right and some people were starting to say things like oh well maybe what it was was these people were were under, from another country like nikita whoever nikita is maybe nikita is from another country and in their country memberships cost something different so maybe you did get paid but you got paid less than what you would have thought so instead of making you know if it's a four dollar membership i would have made like 250 a membership but maybe not maybe in their country it's way cheaper so maybe you made like a dollar a membership instead can you confirm that and i looked no i didn't even get that like i didn't get 400 dollars for 400 memberships like no there's like nothing there right so i'm like it definitely that can't be it either so what could it be right so a couple days pass. It hits January 10th. Okay. And on January Okay. Next. Next. You got it. That's right. No revenue. However, something even more insidious happens than him not making money. Somebody starts talking in Spanish. And I come back to streams this week, and I basically told you guys at the beginning of the week, it's weird that it's not recording any income for those gifted memberships, and now there's 500 of them. And none of them are recorded as, as revenue. And I'm like, something definitely gives here, right? In the meantime, someone else came on these streams by the name of X Hooligan. And this person did a series of super chats as well as 50 gifted memberships. But this person started speaking in Spanish. Dun, and then dun, we were using dun. Google Translate to try to figure out what they were saying. Well, one of the things that they said, all right, was something like... um. Oh, so I, I like your content, but I have to go poop. You mean like duty? You dun, see what dun, I mean? Dun. So basically... Okay, that... um, if you, <laughs> That sounds like a weird statement. One of his main A-logs is a guy called Duty. And so this guy mentioning in Spanish, Ay, Dios mío, I have to go caca. Da, 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 da. Like him thinking, caca, poo-poo. Duty, duty is behind this. Like that's that's literally the gears turning in his head, trying to 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 figure out what the fuck is happening. Why he isn't making his goddamn money off his super chats and shit. Uh, the Argentine peso is pouring in, but yet the dollar amount just not going up at all. What is happening here? Uh, Eight forty nine. He goes on to explain that he loves Spanish speaking people, and Spanish speaking people are great. And he loves tacos and burritos, literally. Because there's something that happens here on YouTube that, from to my knowledge, is an exploit. I don't know if it's if it's actually, like, purposeful or legal. It seems to be an exploit. What is an exploit? An exploit means that someone has found a loophole in a system what? that should not exist <laughs> and was not part of the original design of the system. I just imagine, like, okay, imagine DSP. He's at the head of the table in a boardroom. There's a literal round round table meeting, and you have all these different, uh, like, financial sponsors. He's got PowerPoint slides up. There's an overhead projector, and he's got PowerPoint slides up. YouTube has an exploit. Ch -ch -ch. What is an exploit? And then it's like a dictionary definition of an exploit. And it's like, is this necessary to the minutes of the meeting, sir? Can we progress to the next slide? What the fuck is the point of the exp of exploit? Everyone knows what an exploit is. Yet they found. But oddly enough, um, this isn't an exploit. So he's just wrong. To use it for personal gain or benefit. Okay. And you might say exploit. Well, what's the exploit? He's literally. Wait, right. Listen, look, look at his eyes. Benefit. Okay. Um, yet they found a way to use it. For personal gain or benefit he's reading the dictionary definition of an exploit he's literally reading like the the cambridge dictionary for that that word as he as he like he doesn't know what <laughs> he doesn't know what an exploit is okay and you might say exploit well what's the exploit all right 
So here's what I'm to understand, and people can correct me on this because I only know of this from people telling me and through my research basically last night where I found out through someone contacting me and telling me, this always happens too, people contact me behind the scenes and they'll be like, Phil, just so you know, we found out what really is going on. For example, when I got kicked out of Twitch, the partner program two and a half years ago, now it's almost three years ago. At first, I had no clue what happened, and Twitch wouldn't respond. And then someone behind the scenes contacted me and sent me all the information and said, here's literally the anti-DSP campaign that was sent to Twitch to make you look awful. Obviously, it's completely false and out of context. It was uh, like it was like a compilation of my worst moments of like 15 years, right? And they sent it to Twitch and said, basically, Twitch had to basically get you out of the partner program because if they didn't and someone complained, then how would they pretend like they're woke? I think I missed the actual explanation that I wanted there. Because he just randomly goes off on Twitch. He does this a lot. I tried to timestamp this to the best of my ability. There's actually a seven-minute gap between he, him getting back on track. So the first is him explaining what an exploit is. And then he goes into, how is this allowed? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. All right. Basically, you might say, well, how is this allowed? It's not. It doesn't matter how much YouTube pretends like it is. It's not because it's an. OK, so this is this is a, a really, really typical DSP ism. Something happens. Somebody finds an exploit to troll him with. And instead of getting like instead of realizing that these are people who are trying to get him in trouble, trying to compromise his financial situation, trying to get him deplatformed trying to fuck with him and get a reaction instead of just acknowledging that there's some trolling going on. The sub count doesn't accurately reflect my revenue. I'm going to reduce the amount because some people are using a, um, the, the financial situation of Argentina to, you know, or just don't say Argentina Just say they're, they're doing a trick to, to increase artificially increase my sub count. Um, so instead of just doing that, handling it professionally and privately, uh, his inner inner working boardroom meeting explaining the exact financial situation, how people are fucking with him, is uh, a, 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 a the first thing that you would see watching his streams, like his his how to guide to trolls uh, to fuck with him. So um, he makes a big deal out of it, and he gets mad at YouTube in particular, and maybe he has a right to be mad at YouTube, but he goes on and says that they are literally stealing from him i'll let him explain exploit the difference would be if this was correct if this was a proper like currency conversion then it would be correct but it's not it's not a proper currency conversion it's an exploit so in reality when people do this they're breaking the law and youtube every time that they enable this also is kind of breaking their own terms of service or not terms of service excuse me their own partnership contract okay if this becomes a huge thing on YouTube and this starts happening en masse to tons of YouTubers, that's a lawsuit against YouTube. And they're going to have a hard time defending themselves. They are, because this is a problem. This is a giant hole where people can just lie and buy things on the cheap and that affects people's businesses, right? Imagine if you were running a, a restaurant and someone walked into your restaurant and says, well, I have a coupon that says that I get everything on the menu for a nickel. Like, what the fuck is this? Hey, you got to honor the coupon. Tough shit. Technically, I mean, it depends on your agreement with, like, the venue. If you're at a mall and the mall issues certificates, you have to accept it. Usually, you'd be reimbursed. But, I mean, it's kind of right. I mean, in a way, I don't know. It, it's kind of hard to explain because, on one hand, it's like you're not really selling anything. It's just channel memberships. It's just like emotes and stickers and shit. Um, after a month, you know, those people are going to lose their gifted subs and YouTube will probably have fixed it by then because he explained somewhere, uh, actually at this point that YouTube does fix things when he raises the complaint. So instead of just handling it privately, not encouraging people to do this by freaking out, um, he does the opposite. Two weeks. And I kept telling them, no, I'm not. Here's the evidence. I don't want to hear you give me a form letter. I don't want to hear this bullshit. This is a huge side exploit. You need to fix it. So after two weeks of me hammering them and saying it's real give it to someone to review youtube support closed my conversation and i didn't hear from them again and within one month the fi it was fixed they closed the problem it fixed they repaired it behind the scenes so he just admits that if he does raise an issue with youtube and he does talk to them and he waits a little bit they'll fix it but instead of doing that 
he feeds the trolls and he outlines exactly how to troll people. So by the way, I don't know if you have to be Argentina or if you Argentinian or if you can just use a VPN for gifting memberships, like channel memberships. Um, but I suppose you'll probably see a lot of this with like VTubers and shit. Anytime I hear about like exploiting super chats and stuff with the Argentine peso, I just think of how people are going to use that to fuck with super chatters or, um, big YouTuber, uh, big streamers. Cause like, if you can, if you can donate $5 subs for a penny each using the Argentine peso, you can go to like a huge streamer that has, you know, thousands of viewers and you can gift like a hundred thousand subs for like a hundred dollars. And then everyone will have channel memberships for, for months, all, all the regular viewers. And then those people, I don't know, maybe they'll donate as like sympathy or whatever, but that person then is like cut off from membership, uh, financing for a long time as a result of this. Uh, interesting. And finally, one other thing, um, he does, I think he does this live at this point. He explains how this hurts him. I can wholeheartedly tell you after investigating the situation, after having basically looked at forum posts and all the evidence, I have 550 fake memberships on the channel right now. They're not real. No one paid for them. You know, it's good that you guys have the benefits from them. That's amazing. But the problem is the whole point of this leaderboard down here is to show how I'm doing support wise on a stream. Correct. And when you see 1147 memberships, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Wow, that's a lot of members. Phil's doing really good for himself, right? That's not true. That's a misconception based on 550 memberships. I'm not going to get paid for. Okay, so that's not right. Because now what will happen is people will come by and look at that and say, wow, Phil's doing well off for himself. He's got tons of support. He doesn't need help today. I'll come back in a couple of weeks maybe when things are slower and I'll help him then. And that's bullshit. <clears throat> mm. I make my living on that. This is my main income down here. It's funny because it's like he kind of says that like there are people who don't watch his streams but try to support him. So they might come into a chat once like every couple weeks say oh god phil's sub count's fucking terrible i guess i'll i'll guess i'll buy some give some subs and then they don't watch uh and they might be confused by him having a thousand subs and be like oh i guess he's doing fine i won't donate uh for the next two months then you know it's like what what kind of people are doing that i don't think there i think there are very few people who are turned off on buying something based on success like i don't know i i i think that in a way, you know, if a thousand people have given you a sub, that just means like, oh, if I buy a sub, I'm part of a thousand people. If you have like 10 subs, someone might be like, oh, why would I, this guy's like a loser, I guess. He only has 10 subs. Why would I give him a sub? I don't know. I don't feel like people are turned away from giving money, financial support to people who are already financially successful. Because otherwise you'd have all these mid-level YouTubers and you wouldn't have super, super famous YouTubers who have tons and like thousands, like XQC or whatever, because those people would just say XQC has enough money and not giving him any money. That's clearly not what's happening. Um, but yeah, he's he's figured this out apparently. And now then he does the unforgivable. You understand? There's no behind the scenes agreements that I have with companies to pay me to shield their products. This is what I make my living on. And that can hurt me concretely. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so enough is enough. Right now, enough I'm is enough. fixing the fucking members total. We're fixing to it. Appropriate to what we'll I do really it live. Have. I have 550 fake memberships. Bakers. So if you subtract 600, or Wolves excuse, and 500, sheep clothing. you're at 647. And if you subtract the other 50, right, you're at 597. I love that he does basic arithmetic live, too. He shows people the math. And 97 members. You see, I'm not That's doing this. Number. I'm not getting my math wrong, chat, as I as I reduce the number. I'm getting it right. You do 500 and then 550. And so what I would like to do today is get 610. Okay? <clears throat> it's only fair that I properly adjust it so people actually know what I have. Because that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? All I had to do. This is 27 minutes. So this still goes on. I've listened to this entire thing. This is the the peak of it when he drops the number. All he had to do, boot up the stream and say, hey, guys, uh, just say so you no. Know, the sub count's lower because I am I realize that a lot of the donations that I got were in Argentine peso and or were in a foreign currency that isn't worth very much. So they're not really like they're not financially support. They're not like 
the same as everybody else's subscription amount. So we just have, um, I reset it from those, those troll subs. That's all he has to say. It's one sentence. Uh, what's really, really, really funny is that someone sent this to me as video proof that DSP is in fact funny. And the A-logs do not, in fact, wish him to be homeless, destitute, and eating trash out of the bin. But you know what? You know what I did after I watched this video? Took my mouse wheel and I went, wait, 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 wait. Let's read the comments, chat. How is it not a scam to artificially lower your number total to make it seem like you're not getting enough support? Let's take a moment to remember that Phil has never once done a giveaway for his fans. Empty box games, empty game boxes don't count. This has to be a TOS violation, right? Misrepresenting your contributions to scam your supporters might need a mass report. Let's see. It absolutely is, but YouTube seems to defend the pig roach. Little snort pig makes his money on YouTube. They won't do anything to him. The only punishment he has gotten is being walled off the algorithm. Um, let's see. This is people just saying, I, I mean, I can't complain about people encouraging people to, to exploit the fuck out of this. Cause as far as I'm concerned, YouTube can eat shit. This guy explains what, um, incorrectly the exchange rate thing, the, uh, Argentine peso is not directly pegged to the U S dollar in terms of membership. It's based off uh, purchasing parity. So that's why it, it, it's not, he explains that it's not a direct conversion, but it is based off purchasing parity. Parity. Let's see, he's a scammer. He doesn't care for his fan base at all. I don't understand this. 500 memberships wasted because Phil cannot accept that his whole channel is built on lies. Like, come on, calm down. It's a funny troll. You don't have, you don't have to hate him. You don't have to like, oh my God, I hope they ban this fucker for lying. Like, come on, come on. Oh, well. Uh, Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.